All right, so we're gonna be putting a cool range hood up just because we last minute changed where the stove is. So we have a angle there and I don't think a skinny box would look good, even if it was straight. So we're gonna add a big box and do some shiplap. My only trouble is getting that line perfectly straight on the ceiling there. And there's not very many studs to attach to, but we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm just trying to make the boxes on the ground because this part's gonna be really hard to get square just using the laser. It was just kind of hard. You have to perfectly line it up. But if I just measure and make it square out here, should be good to go. And then we're gonna put on this six inch shiplap. All right, almost there. Milwaukee laser to show me that it's pretty square. These two back braces are going to come off and that's where roughly where the other two on the wall will sit. And then uh, hopefully we can start putting this shiplap on. Wifey's cleaning out the truck. Chickens are being loud. Built this chicken coop a couple months ago. It works out pretty nice. The fence is kind of eh, but I'd like to free range them, but they keep crapping all over our concrete. But I'm just hanging out in there. So, let's see if this frame ends up working. I hope it does. But at least I can set it up there. Moment of truth in my so messy kitchen. Home, these are not all, they're level up here, not down there. So that's why it's all jacked up. Okay. I can help you too. That's fine. I don't think I'll put it up right now, but I will at least verify the facts. The support's too high up. Too low, I mean. Yep. Look at that, right on the line. But I gotta go up. Here, do you want me to come up there and help? Oh man. What? How am I gonna get the. Wow, that piece of wood's in like the perfect spot. Oh yeah. Went a little overkill cutting the bottoms off, but. As long as it's less than six inches. Yeah, I might have to add something underneath there. That's gonna look so cool. Jeez, child. 
<laughs> cool. There it is. So there's support from the top. So weight pulling down is not going to mess with it. And then that back supported. Not a whole lot of studs behind there, but if I could hang on it, it's not going anywhere. I just got to figure out this bottom piece is going to have chamfered corner plus the first piece has to be angled to match this piece and then perfectly come up. So that's going to be fun cutting that. Here is where having the right tool can make you look better than you are. So I ran a laser, it's really close, but as you can tell that all the edges are just ever so slightly different. And all I gotta do is put this trim piece up and then I can line it up to the laser and my edges are gonna be so much more um, clean. Run that right up the, make sure I I can kind of manipulate it to get it on the laser because you really won't see the back side once I get that cocked. This is just some corner trim. And then we ended up using some old, some of my, my dad's, I forget what kind of, it's a hardwood. But this will just kind of set like right there. Then we'll have the corner trim here, and then this is another piece of trim that will go up against the wall to clean that up. And then we'll fill the holes, paint it, and we'll be good to go. This side, you can tell, super crisp and clean, nice and straight all the way up. Getting there. Also helps get the dust out as much as you can. Garage is much cleaner. Love it. Plenty of space to walk around. Just gotta organize the shelf there. We'll be good. It's windy out there today. Goodness. I just get this swept out and rinsed out, and then we get sand and dirt coming back in. Got the old lawnmower up and running. Get that pulled in. Yep, she's dead. Dang it. 
23,000 miles on this bad boy. We got a new battery. I left it running for like an hour today. gonna wait to tomorrow pulling the old F-250 while we got the Yukon in the shop but I think that's gonna be a wrap headed out to check on our chickens this was oh well, that's probably two or three days worth these are just wooden ones down there that we used to use they haven't been oh good they haven't been eating at them so we got five seven eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty two 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 four two six this has to be two days worth but i got them yesterday pretty good pretty good look at them they all want oh they need some water they all want some treats some water. They sure like their water. Don't worry, they had water this morning. Might be time to get another one out here in the summer. I used to drink like next to nothing. Aren't they cool looking though? Well, let's count them. What do we got? Three white ones? Five is eight. Keep moving. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure this is one day, so we got just about everyone laying almost. Pretty awesome. All right, adding hay or straw. I like hay, but this is just straw to the boxes is the easiest way to get the cleanest eggs because we've had it where they kick all of it out and then. You start getting messy eggs, you get one that cracks, and then you get them eating their own eggs, which is not good. So we always make sure they're super full. They're gonna kick it out. There's a little bit of a lip that'll hold it in. We blocked off a couple. Might be about time to um, open those up for them. But, yeah. We have a pretty good sized pen and we might move it eventually kind of rotate it but it seems to be doing good for now this little window there yeah this is our junk pile of wood behind it and then a bunch of acreage in the front that we don't do anything with yet someday soon all right, here's the final product. Really, really love how it turned out. I caulked the seams just to make it a little bit cleaner. That turned out really good. 